Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mohamed Sheikh. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to present an Ethereum-based uh, dispute fee scalable open vote network uh, using ZK Snarks. Uh, this is a joint work with Professor Ram Youssef. Uh, so this is the outline of my talk, uh, starting with an introduction about open vote network uh, and its Ethereum-based implementations, uh, followed by our new design. Uh, then uh, we propose uh, two enhancements to achieve uh, better scalability uh, and eventually conclusions. So uh, using e-voting systems can be crucial in many situations. Uh, for example, the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, renders uh, traditional paper-based voting uh, as a potential health hazard. Uh, and even uh, sometimes it's not possible because of the work from home setup. Uh, typically, there are three tallying approach for e-voting. Uh, the first one is a single trusted authority, uh, where uh, the final tally is computed with the assistance of a single trusted authority. And the second one is uh, multi-tally authorities, uh, where multiple authorities collaborate to compute the final tally. Uh, the third one is uh, self-tallying, uh, where there is no need for an, uh, any trusted authority uh, because uh, once all votes are casted, uh, anyone observes uh, the protocol can tally the result. Uh, the open vote network belongs to this type. Uh, so uh, there are two Ethereum-based implementations for the open vote network. Uh, the first uh, by Macquarie. Uh, uh, this implementation uh, maintains the dispute fee property of the open vote network. Uh, however, uh, it has a scalability issue uh, since all the tallying computations are performed on a chain by the smart contract. Uh, the second implementation by Safe and NAS uh, solves this issue by assigning uh, the tallying computation to an off-chain untrusted administrator in a verifiable manner. Uh, but as a side effect, uh, there is a need uh, for a tally dispute phase where an observer interrupts the protocol uh, when the administrator announces uh, a wrong tally result. So uh, the two implementations are either uh, dispute-free or scalable, uh, but not both. Uh, so our objective from this research is to develop uh, a new Ethereum-based implementation that can maintain uh, the dispute-free property uh, and at the same time uh, it is uh, scalable. Uh, also, uh, uh, there are another goal uh, from the, our research uh, is to achieve a fixed gas cost paid by the election administrator and voters. Uh, to this end, uh, we delegated the heavy computation to off-chain uh, parties in a verifiable manner, uh, hence achieving higher uh, scalability, and utilize these snarks to allow the smart contract to verify the correctness of the off-chain computations. Uh, hence, maintaining the dispute-free property. So, uh, uh, ZK Snark uh, enables a prover to convince a verifier, uh, verifier that uh, a statement is a true without prior interaction between them. Uh, typically, a ZK Snark for an arithmetic circuit is defined by uh, three algorithms. Uh, the first algorithm is a setup algorithm uh, given a security parameter lambda. Uh, and uh, cir uh, circuit C, the algorithm uh, generates a pair of keys, uh, proving key and verifying key. Uh, the second algorithm is a uh, proof algorithm, uh, given uh, a proving key, uh, a statement S, and a witness W. Uh, the algorithm generates a uh, zero-knowledge proof uh, that reflects the relation between the statement and the witness. And the third uh, algorithm is a verify algorithm, uh, given a verifying key, uh, a correct, uh, correct statement is, uh, and the proof uh, pi, the algorithm uh, outputs one if the proof is a valid uh, proof for the statement, and the output zeros otherwise. Uh, the open vote network uh, protocol has three phases. Uh, the first one is uh, registering voters. Uh, each voter picks his uh, uh, private key X and generates his uh, voting key uh, BK and uh, zero knowledge proof that he knows the exponent X. Uh, then uh, he uh, broadcasts his voting key and uh, zero knowledge proof uh, on the public bulletin board. The second phase is uh, casting encrypted uh, votes uh, every voter uh, checks uh, the validity of all zero-knowledge proofs of the other voters 
uh, then uh, he computes his uh, blinding key y uh, after that he encrypted uh, his uh, vote v and generates uh, zero knowledge proof that his vote is either zero or one uh, finally he broadcasts the encrypted vote and the zero knowledge proof on the public uh, bulletin board uh, the third phase is telling the result uh, where uh, anyone uh, observes the previous two phases uh, can verify that all zero knowledge proofs and then multiply all the encrypted votes and finally uh, exhaustively search for the telling result. Uh, so uh, the challenge is uh, to construct uh, zk snark circuits for the three uh, phases uh, and develop a smart contract to handle the three phases efficiently. Uh, so our uh, design has two parts, part for the zk snark circuits and the other for the smart contract. Uh, it should be mentioned here that all the computations in our design are performed over uh, cycle group G uh, on the elliptic curve baby job job. Uh, so uh, the first circuit, uh, the first ZK uh, snark circuit is for registering a voter's phase. Uh, the statement uh, for this circuit is uh, the voter uh, voting key BK uh, and the witness is the voter private key X. Uh, the circuit is intended for uh, the ZK snark to prove that a voter know the private key X corresponded to the voting key BK. Also, uh, to prove that the voting key has a positive sign to ensure that it's follow the compact representation uh, and its X and Y coordinates have a one-to-one -one relation. Uh, this helps uh, optimizing the following circuits. Uh, so the second circuit is for casting encrypted vote, uh, votes phase. Uh, first, we decompose uh, each voting key into its uh, X and Y coordinates. Uh, then the Y coordinate becomes a part of the statement S and the uh, X coordinate become a part of the witness uh, W uh, in order to optimize the circuit and reduce uh, the on chain computation. Uh, the circuit is intended for uh, ZK snarks to prove that the vote is either uh, zero uh, or one and the encrypted vote is well formatted. So uh, first is check if the vote is either zero or one, uh, then uh, check that X and Y coordinates of the H uh, voting key is on the elliptic curve and it has a positive sign. Uh, then ch uh, check the correctness of the first part of this equation. Uh, after that, the second part of this uh, equation, uh, then uh, check the correctness of the blinding key. Uh, then uh, check uh, the correctness of the encrypted vote uh, following by these uh, three steps. So uh, the third circuit is for telling the result phase. Uh, like the previous circuit, uh, we decompose each encrypted vote uh, to its uh, X and Y coordinates. Uh, then the Y coordinate becomes a part of the statement S and the X coordinate become a part of the witness W. Uh, this uh, is for uh, to reduce uh, the on chain computation. Uh, so first, the circuit check that uh, each pair X and Y of the encrypted vote is indeed a point uh, on the elliptic curve. Uh, then check the correctness of the sum V. Uh, after that, uh, uh, check the uh, correctness of the incrementally search, uh, exhaustive search for the result. Uh, finally, uh, check the correctness of the telling result. So uh, the second part of our design is the, uh, the smart contract that handles uh, the election. Uh, before starting the election, the administrator and voters run a uh, multi-party computation-based setup ceremony uh, for generating the proving and verifying key for the three uh, zk snark circuits. Uh, also, the administrator accumulates uh, the list of eligible voters in a Merkle tree, uh, this allowing uh, each voter to uh, generate his proof of voting in eligibility. Uh, after that, uh, the administrator deploys the smart contract uh, which uh, stores uh, the variables used it in the election phases. Uh, for example, the Merkle tree root, uh, the verifying keys, uh, the end of the protocol phases. Uh, then the election starts. Uh, 
uh, in the first phase, uh, each voter uh, generates his uh, voting key uh, and the corresponding ZK snark proof. Uh, then he invokes the register uh, function in the smart contract uh, with the voting key uh, BK and the ZK snark proof uh, pi uh, X, uh, along with a Merkle proof of voting membership. Uh, in its turn, uh, the register function reconstructs the statement of the public key gen circuit. Uh, then it verifies both the Merkel uh, proof of uh, voters' membership and the uh, Zeke Snark proof. Uh, finally, it stores the voting key. Uh, in the second phase, uh, each voter uh, retrieves uh, the stored voting keys from the blockchain, uh, then encrypts his vote and generates uh, the corresponding Zeke Snark's proof uh, using encrypted vote gen circuit. Uh, after that, uh, he invokes a uh, cast vote function in the smart contract, uh, which reconstructs the statement of the encrypted vote gen circuit and verifies the ZK snark proof. Uh, finally, it stores the encrypted vote V. Uh, in the third phase, uh, the administrator uh, retrieves the stored encrypted vote uh, from the blockchain, uh, then tallying the result and generates the corresponding ZK snark proof. Uh, then invokes a uh, set tally function uh, which verifies the correctness of the tallying result. So uh, we have implemented a prototype of our design uh, to evaluate uh, the gas cost and its scalability. Uh, this, table this table summarizes uh, the gas uh, cost, uh, the gas units consumed by different functions in the contract uh, for executing the protocol for 40 voters. Uh, the main three, uh, uh, the main function is setting the verifying key for the three circuits and uh, register and cast vote and set tally functions. Uh, compared with uh, McCoy implementation, uh, the post designs uh, maintain the dispute free uh, property. Uh, however, uh, we performed all the heavy computation of a chain in a verifiable manner. Uh, regarding the gas cost, uh, in our design, uh, the gas cost per voter and the administrator uh, are around 40 and 70 uh, percent of the other design. Uh, also, uh, the gas cost increases rapidly with the number of voters in their design. Uh, therefore, our uh, design is more scalable. Uh, Compared with uh, seven months implementation, uh, our design maintains the dispute fee property. Uh, there doesn't, uh, regarding the gas cost, uh, the estimation uh, doesn't take uh, into account a very important step. Uh, we argue that this step is a major factor in the gas cost. Uh, therefore, they overestimate uh, scalability of their implementation. Uh, we also conducted some experiments uh, to estimate the maximum number of voters can participate in the same election uh, before exceeding the gas limit of the Ethereum block. Uh, as shown in this figure, uh, setting uh, the voting keys uh, for uh, encrypted vote gen and tallying circuits uh, consumed amount of gas units linearly with the number of voters. Uh, this behavior is expected uh, since the statement size S uh, of these circuits is linearly proportional to the number of voters. Uh, the same behavior is observed uh, for invoking the smart contract function, uh, cast vote and uh, set tallying. Uh, however, uh, setting a verifying key can be made in multiple blocks. Uh, in contrast, uh, running the smart contract function must be uh, completed in the same block. Uh, with the current gas limit, uh, which is uh, 30 million gas units, uh, this prototype can be scaled to around 2,000 voters. So uh, the scalability uh, bottleneck uh, is uh, that the statement size of the ZK snark increases uh, linearly with the number of voters. Uh, so uh, our objective now is to make uh, the statement size becomes fixed and the total gas paid by the administrator and each voter become constant. Uh, recall the statement S and the witness W of the uh, encrypted vote gen circuit. Uh, by moving uh, the Y coordinates of the voting key uh, BK uh, from S to W uh, and add uh, commit BK uh, to the statement S, uh, such as that committing BK is the hash of the Y coordinates of the voting key BK, uh, the new statement has a fixed uh, size. Uh, 
uh, and then the new circuits must check uh, the correctness of this commit uh, commit BK. Uh, as a result, the uh, verifying keys uh, will uh, consume fixed gas units. Uh, in its turn, uh, the smart contract should check the correctness of uh, this commit uh, in uh, cast vote function, uh, since the public key, uh, all public keys BKs are known. Uh, so invoking uh, cast vote function, still consuming uh, an amount of gas units linearly with the number of voters. So uh, by reconstructing the commit uh, like this, uh, we can initialize uh, commit BK uh, during the smart contract uh, deployment uh, and update uh, commit BK as a hash of the previous value concatenated with uh, a new public key uh, during registering uh, a new public key. Uh, at the end of the voters registering phase, uh, the new commit BK value is ready to be used uh, by cast uh, vote function. So uh, we conducted some experiments uh, to evaluate the performance of the two uh, modified design in the terms of the size of the common reference string uh, for encrypted vote gen and set telling uh, circuit uh, and uh, their average proof generation time and the gas consumption by invoking the three functions uh, register, uh, cast vote and set tell. Uh, in this figure, uh, original uh, refers to our original design uh, and SHA-256 refers to the first improvement using uh, SHA-256 uh, and the progressive uh, SHA-256 uh, and the progressive uh, Poseidon uh, refer to the second improvement uh, using the hash function SHA-256 and uh, Poseidon respectively. Uh, as shown, uh, the CRC size uh, and the average proof generation time uh, for post circuits increase uh, linearly with the number of voters in the original and modified designs. Uh, but the highest value corresponding to the progressive uh, SHA-256 uh, hashing case. Uh, regarding the gas cost, uh, register function consume fixed gas units uh, in all, the uh, all design independent of the number of voters. Uh, however, uh, it is the highest in the progressive uh, Poseidon hash case. Uh, for post uh, cast vote and set telling function, uh, their gas cost for the first improvement uh, using SHA-256 increase linearly with the number of voters, uh, but it's still uh, more scalable than the original design. Uh, in contrast, uh, the two functions consume a fixed gas units in a progressive uh, SHA-256 uh, hashing and the progressive Poseidon uh, hash as desired. So uh, to sum up, uh, we developed Ethereum-based uh, dispute-free open vote network. Uh, to this end, we delegated uh, the heavy computation to off-chain parties uh, in a verifiable manner uh, and used uh, three zk snark circuits uh, to verify the correctness of uh, this off-chain computation. Uh, also, we proposed two improvements uh, to achieve fixed statement size and fixed gas uh, cost paid by the administrator and voters. Uh, our prototype can be found in this uh, GitHub repository. Thank you.